Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 99 of Darwell20's FTB Revelations. Uh, let's, let's head over to the end. Nope, that's the deep dark. I know where I'm going, I promise. Um, I have, I have an idea or two. Boy, deep dark takes a long time to load. Come on, chief. There you are. To the end, I say. Um... So, I have an idea or two on how to generate more mana. I started flipping through the book. The old Lexica Batania. Uh, and... You know what? There ain't a lot of options. There, there's not as much as I thought there were there would be. There's nothing in there that really jumps out at me. As being like, yeah, that would be cool. Boop. So, home we go. Uh, so I've got an idea or two uh, for a flower that I've automated before, but doing it differently. Uh, so I've picked up you guys. Here's the thing I want to try. Got an idea. Bear with me a minute. Really? All right, let me borrow you for a minute, Chief. So you come with me, you come with me. Sure, why not? And away we go. Um... I've got a watering can, and I can put you away, but you I want, in on-use empty mode. Okay, that seems cool. You, with you. Now what I'd love, that should be reasonable, right? Actually... Let's do it this way. <laughs> that should be cool. So now I do this. And you grow. Three by three sounds better. Grow. Grow. Almost there. Almost there. Now, in theory, the only place he can grow to is here, right? Am I right about that? I think I'm right about that. Hello. Thank you, sir. Boop. And... Ready for this trick? I don't think I've ever used this trick before. Do 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 the thing. You can do it. You can do it. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I think it works. I think it works. Right? Doesn't this work? It worked! It just takes a while. But it worked! Look what we've got! Mmm, cake. You know what we can do with that? Something cool. So, let's get ourselves a Kekamurus. This is a cool flower. It needs pixie dusk and a rune of gluttony. Um, which I should probably teach you how to make rune of gluttony. So you don't need a runic altar. And you should probably also know how to make a runic this thingy without an altar. Um, did I teach you how to make cake yet? No, but I could probably just snag that one, right? Snow and white wool. That should be doable. I don't think you have winter in your filter yet, right? Probably not. Rune of gluttony. And rune of winter. Cool. Does that work? It doesn't. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was like a sneaky way to pick up cake. I wonder if Silk Touch. Does, if I used a Silk Touch, could I pick up cake? I don't even know. That's that's dire not knowing vanilla for you. So look, we, 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 we grow the pumpkin again. In theory. Boy, he just takes his sweet time, doesn't he? Um... 
We could totally green grove this, by the way. I think that would work, right? Would a sigil of the green grove work? Reinforce slate. Make one of those for me, would you, buddy? And you need two saplings and two sugar. Two saplings, sugar, and sugar. Thank you. And then we need the thingy. Did I get my reinforced slate, by the way? I did. Sweet. And then I need that thingy that goes on the ground. The thingy from Blood Magic. Where is it? The dust. The ashes. That little dust thingy. This thing. Yeah, arcane ashes. There you go. Bada bing. Bada boom. Ba doopy doop. Sigil of the Green Grove. Helps plants grow faster in an area of effect around the player while active. Boop. Forget if it causes tall grass to grow. I hope it doesn't, because that would be annoying. Come on, grow. There we go. So it turned into a cake. Sweet. Now, can I... Just curious. I'm just curious if this works. Nope, I guess not. Oh, good. It grew again. Good job. Now you're behaving yourself. Thank you, Sigil of the Green Grove. So we could ramp up the speed at which this grows. I'm curious. Like, this is a collector crystal. No, like, does tick accelerating that thing make a difference? I'm just curious. I'm just playing with ideas on how to generate more mana in a fun and interesting way. Um, so, but luckily, you know, we can, we can come up with something. So let's just make ourselves a cake real quick. Uh, we just need a couple of sugar, is that right? So I can make my gluttony rune. So this should auto-craft just fine. Just fine. Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. We even had that stuff already. Nice. So let's go make our kekamurits. So kekamurits. Mmm, kek. Needs a uh, pixie, two white, two orange, two brown. Two white, two orange, two brown. And pixie. And a bucket of water, which I never really did get around to automating. Probably should. And then the rune of gluttony. Hooray! That's cool. And there's your Kekamiros, right? And that will eat cake. So in theory, this is automated cake production, right? We place this down. He's going to be bound to this dude. And he will eat the cake. Mm, cake. Right, and look how fast. Like, he is, he is mana spreading a lot, right? We're going to need to ramp up this. Let's get some dream... Dream wood. Oh, you don't have any living wood available to you. You do now. Cool. Right? And then what's going to happen is eventually this guy will grow another pumpkin. Uh, and it'll turn into... So what we should do... What we should do... Check this out. Uh, if we... Boop, 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 right? And then... this and this, right? And then um, put growth strips around here and here and here and here. That's cool, right? So what'll happen now is one of the three pumpkins will grow in that spot. And that should be a pretty quick process, right? Um, and this, by the way, also works as bone meal. Like, bone meal doesn't work to make a fully grown stalk turn into a pumpkin, but it does get the stalk fully grown. Cool. 
And that guy doesn't turn the pumpkin to a cake that quickly, but it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. Now there's definite ways we could speed up the pumpkin growth if we needed to worry about that. There's definite ways we could handle that. I'm just going to turn you into more seeds so we make sure we have enough of those. But that's pretty cool. Now, granted, this guy's attuned to the to the particular constellation, but I don't think it matters that he's attuned like that, right? All right, good. We've got our Dreamwood. That means we can get our Tier 2 Mana Spreader going on. Uh, we should probably get a couple of these. Like, realistically, what we want to do is upgrade all our spreaders, right? I think that would be a smart move. And then we can get Gaia spreaders at some point, too, right? And that would be cool. More Dreamwood, please. Right. So your job becomes a little bit easier. Cool. Good. You're bound to him, and you're bound to him as well. You're bound to him. And this will speed up our crafting process, right? This makes us craft a little bit quicker. And that's cool beans right there. Okay. I'm down with that. That's all the spreaders we've got, right? Yeah, pretty much. Sweet. All right. So with you on and you watering can, one of you three is going to turn into a pumpkin and produce mana for me. Not quite as fast as I would have liked. Maybe we could get a, a ritual of the green glo grove underneath this guy. That might be cool. Should we do that? I think that's a plan, right? Let's do that. Uh, ritual stones. Do you know how to make ritual stones yet? You don't, and you probably should. Um... So let's get what orbs are in here. We've got this guy. So let's do ritual. We're going to teach you how to make a master ritual stone using direwolf 20s, master blood orb. And you also need to know how to make ritual stones, again, using direwolf 20s, master blood orb. And that goes in there. So for the ritual of the green grove, what we want... It's one of the first few, so like when I start recognizing the name, Serenade of the Nether, Ritual of the Full Spring. I think that's water. Ritual of the Green Grove, there we go. Uh, four water, so a total of eight runes, right? So what we're gonna want is eight runes plus the master, right? So Master Ritual Stone one, good. Master Ritual Stone one, and eight runes. You might need to wait till you're done crafting the existing dudes in order to get that. So back in a minute when the crafting is complete. You know what? If we wanted to be a little smarter about it, what we could do is take this and use a different orb. Like I could use my magician's blood orb for it. This way we have different orbs for the master and the and the basics, right? And then you should still be going. So you should be able to make a master. And you should be cool here. All right, good deal. Back in a minute. No, there's also the astral ritual that makes plants grow faster. But I think this will be a quicker and easier ritual to set up. How fast it'll be, I'm not 100% sure. But I mean, it'll at least be good-ish. So basically, we want to put the Master Ritual Stone two blocks away from the water, right? So our Master Ritual Stone should go here. Uh, and then our eight Ritual Stones go around it. Cool. And then we grab our Weak Activation Crystal, and boom, Flow of Energy rushes through the Ritual, and we should be cool. So that should be causing... A healthy amount of uh, faster growth, I believe. I believe. Oh, you're back here. 
I forgot about that side. Hang on. That's not where you go, and you also would be a problem. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot. There's water here, so we don't have to worry about it so much, but yeah. Uh, anyway, that should be cool. And then he turns into cake, and hopefully that's good. I'm going to watch this for a little bit and see how he does. And you know what? Just to have a better understanding of how fast this is going, right? Um, if I broke you and replaced, how quickly would you grow? That's really the trick to know, right? So with my sigil on and the ritual of the green grove going on, you are not growing that fast. Not that fast at all. I mean, there's a functional flower from Batania that speeds up crop growth. Maybe we work together with him. Yeah, you are just not... You are not enough, sir. What if we threw a functional flower right there? Uh, that flower is... Is it the Agricarnation? Yeah. We could probably make the float floating flower variant of it, because we just get any floating flower, and that would be cool. So pasture seeds, I believe, it's actually cut grass, right? And it is like always raining in my world anymore. There you go. So the floating variant of that I think we want we want we want a glowing flower, don't we? Um, so like you with this can turn into the floating variant. Right? So now that's a floating flower version. Not that it matters because this is grass after all, but I don't know, I think the floating flowers just look cool. Uh, and then we need the agricarnation, which is Two lime, green, yellow, and redstone root. So redstone root also needs sheared grass. And then it was the rune of spring, right? I don't think we've got spring, do we? Oh, we actually have one, so that's cool. And we even have it on the autocraft, so yay. That was one of the ones that we did decide autocraft with. Sweet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so Rune of Spring, Redstone Root. Yellow, green, two lime. Yellow, two lime, green. Boop, 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 boop. And there's your Agricarnation, which we can combine with this dude to get a floating Agricarnation. So let's see how good you are. Um, that means that you're not really necessary. Oh, so fast. Goodness gracious, that broke a lot of things really quickly. Um, anyway. Anyway. Okay, so you need to go here with the tilled earth. You need to be planted agricarnation right there. And you should be bound to a mana pool. All right, good. So he'll steal mana from this pool as needed. See, look, he's doing the pulsing. That's cool. Um, man, did we really break that master ritual stone too? Uh, Magnet, where are you? There it is, master ritual stone. Boop. With you, rush of energy. So I don't know if you do bone meal effects or what. Can I tick accelerate you? Seems like a bad idea. Does seem like it does work though. That's kind of cool. But I don't think he does, I think he might be doing bone meal effects because we're seeing the bone mealing a thing. So let's make a prism lens real quick. That seems like kind of a cool idea. So I need a perfect celestial doohickey. Because I've got an idea, as it were. I've got an idea. My first idea is to stop the rain, because rain annoys me. All right? Uh, so to make, to make what I want here, 
Okay. Uh, we're going to want the following. Turn you off. You, you've just not been as good as I hoped you would be. I hope this would be better, and it's not. Uh, so we're going to need two resonatings, two gold, and four glass panes. So two resonating... Uh, some of you... Some of you... Some gold... Some stardust, ruined, and engraved wood. Stardust, ruined, and engraved wood. Engraved wood is what? There you go. That might be what we need for the prism. It is. We just need it to be nighttime. Cool. Uh, and then you need to be crafting. And hopefully you'll craft fast enough with it still being nighttime. Because look. Hooray! Resplendent Prism. Prism lens with perfect purity. That's what we want. So what I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to rearrange this setup. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to set it up like so. You ready? Check this out. Put all this away because we don't need you no more. Um, what I'm going to do instead... Is have three of these dudes set up to do this. Okay, so then we're going to plant these dudes... They're going to grow forward. We're going to put our strips here. Okay, so that way they can all grow forward. Does that sound cool? So then I'm going to unlink all links here. I'm going to let you guys all grow. And then we're going to use our resplendent prism to get three pumpkins turning into... Right? Instead of just one? Does that sound cool? Man, you were just slower than I thought you would be. I really thought this would go faster. Pumpkin growth, please. I want, like, instant pumpkins. What other watering can options do I have? Nothing good. I'm assuming the creative watering can is not really craftable. Meh. Meh. Killing me, Smalls. Slower than molasses in January. Let's go. I mean, you're actually doing something? I mean, in theory. In theory, something's happening there. Do pumpkins need light to grow? Maybe that's been my problem this whole time. Though I thought it was pretty light enough, but still. Though, as soon as I lit up the area, two of them grew. So that's kind of a thing. That makes you go, hmm. I'm going to try for five, by the way. Yeah, that's definitely growing faster now. Does that seem to be better? It might have been a light thing. Maybe pumpkins need light to grow. Now, my understanding is, is that I should now be able to place this dude under him. And we can link, if I understand this correctly, you to you. And then you can be linked to one, two, three, four, five. How cool is that? All right. And now we're going to get cake. And that'll be fun. You know what I should really think about doing, by the way, is getting a better lens. Um, we should get some mana lenses here. Okay, uh, mana lens, one, two, and then we're going to want potency, right? That's probably the one we want. And that will make it so that our mana bursts are bigger and they transfer faster. So I'll just speed up the rate at which we're moving mana. 
which is good. Now you guys are definitely slower about converting pumpkins into cake, but I'm hoping that overall this is going to be a faster production line. So see how he's like remaining more empty now? He's definitely draining faster than he was before, so that's cool. Nice! Alright, look at that. That's awesome, right? So what we'll see now is in theory, um, our hope is that we leave this setup as it is, um, and and he does he does that. That looks cool. That looks cool, right? So the other one will grow at some point, uh, and then it'll convert to cake, and hopefully this this setup works. I like this. I think this is neat. I hope you guys like it too. See, look, look. We haven't even finished eating this cake, and we've already had another growth of a pumpkin that's turning into a cake. So my hope is that. You know, we give this thing a little bit of time, and that'll be cool. I like it. He's almost eating too slowly, this Kekamiris. Like, if I had another Kekamiris, that might be cool. Like, we might, we might want another one right now. Can I have another Gluttony? That wouldn't be too hard to make, right? Yeah. So, two white, two orange, two brown, and a Pixie. Two white... Two orange, two brown. And a gluttony. Alright, you go away, you go away, you go away, you go off. You can go on my backpack. You. Endo flames, I don't really need. How's that gluttony crafting doing? He's in progress. What's going on here, Chief? Gluttony needs winter. Where's my winter rune? Oh, he got sucked up into here somehow? How'd that happen? Now we're cooking. Good. The elven mana spreader is faster than the spark. I was a little bit worried about that, to be honest with you. A little bit worried. Yeah, we're doing okay here, kids. This is working out alright, I think. We'll have to give it time to keep an eye on it, but I think we're good. He's not... He's, he's going to be slower on account of the fact that... Um, I wonder if this being the Decidia crystal might be bad. It might be. Maybe I should make, like, a normal collector crystal out of normal, not-focused starlight. I don't know if it makes a difference. It might. It might not. But it's an easy enough thing to deal with, right? Astral, we just need four of you. Four of you. And four of you. Uh, yeah, I have one, buddy. Which one of these guys? Has the thing in it. I was all ready to do this like really easily. So, you guys go in the corners. Do they have to be Celestial Collector Crystals? It doesn't have to be attuned? Maybe it does have to be attuned. If it has to be attuned, then. I thought I could have just like a, a generic, not attuned one. Like, are you attuned? I don't even know. But yeah, you're not, you're not, yeah, you have to be in a tuned Celestial Crystal. Okay, today I learned. I probably knew that and then forgot it. Anyway, we gotta wrap up the episode, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back next time, we'll see how our Kekamiris is doing. Hopefully pretty good. All I have to do is rebind you to that guy, and then he should beam down to all those dudes. Yeah, so the conversion... From pumpkin to cake is a little bit slower than I would like, but what are you going to do? 
We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And gluttony should be done, by the way, now. So that would be that, and that would be that. And then you can come over here and do that. And then you're bound to that dude, right? Already? Good. All right, that will probably sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll see if this is good. If not, we'll see if we can ramp it up. All right, guys. Take it easy.